Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, what do you have for us today? Glad you asked. Today I have for you The Looker by author Laura Sims. I was actually looking for something quick to read and I ran across this book. You were looking for something quick to read. Yes, if you must know, it was suggested to me by someone that if I wanted to try to put out more videos, then I maybe should be looking for shorter novels to read. I'm listening. So The Looker is centered around this woman who has this unnatural obsession, or is it just an obsession? I'm not really sure. Is there such thing as a natural obsession? Don't act like you don't know. What's that supposed to mean? Anyways, The Looker centers around the narrator's unnatural obsession with this actress that lives across the street from her. And because the story is told from the first person perspective, and as we move through the novel, we see that the narrator is slowly losing touch with reality, that her psychosis is slowly breaking down. And because of this, we're not really sure if the things that she is seeing is actually happening. So after reading the book, I did go online because I wanted to see what other people thought about it. And I saw that most of the reviews were kind of split. It was either five stars where people believe that the book was kind of misunderstood because it wasn't listed under the correct genre because there wasn't really a genre for it. And then there were people that were giving it one and two stars and they were kind of like, what did I just read? And which one were you? I'll get to that in a minute, okay? Okay, I'm just saying, people aren't just going to sit here and listen to you go on and on about this book all day. The Looker is listed as a psychological mystery thriller suspense novel, and I get it as an author. It's kind of hard to place your book in a genre if the genre isn't listed. Let's be honest, for most people, you make up your mind if you want to read a book based on the blurb. And for me, I look at a couple of the paragraphs in the Look Inside portion on Amazon. And if I like the author's writing style, then that's how I make up my mind if I want to read a book. I don't really start looking at subcategories until I'm reading the book and it was supposed to be a horror or it was supposed to be a mystery. And then I find out that the blur was a bit deceiving. And so I don't really go into subcategories unless something like that happens. Or if you didn't like it, right? Okay, yes, maybe then. If I did not like the book, that is when I go look at the subcategories. If I liked it, I could care less. But if it was supposed to be a horror or a mystery novel and it was none of those things, then yeah, I'm going to start looking deeper and I'm going to start questioning things. I mean, because like we had the children on the hill and they said it was a ghost thriller and there were no ghosts in the book. So yes, I am going to go start looking for those type of things. So no, The Looker was not a psychological mystery thriller, but it does deal with psychological aspects. And I feel like it was one of those type of books where you're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. There's really no in between. So did you like it or not? I did like how the author showed the narrator as she began to fragment and she spiraled deeper into insanity. However, the reason why I only gave it three stars, which I did let you know at the beginning of this video, is because it's one of those books where you have to look for deeper meaning. And as I have said before, I don't read for deeper meaning. I read to escape. I'm not saying that I'm not trying to find a deeper meaning in my life. However, when I go looking for that deeper meaning, I'm not going to go looking for it in a fiction novel. I mean, I have no problem delving into the metaphysical. However, I'm going to go looking for that elsewhere. Sure you do. I bet you don't even know what metaphysical means. Anyways, as I said, when I read fiction, I read it to get lost in the story. And unfortunately, with The Looker, I wasn't able to escape within the story because I wasn't able to relate to the character. I wasn't able to relate to her as her mind began to fracture and she began to lose her grip on reality. Am I the only one not believing this? There were a few times where the book was kind of slow in its pacing, but then when it began to pick up, 
I started getting a little worried for the narrator because she was doing some things and I was starting to wonder what was going to happen to her. It was kind of like, say, for instance, if there was this really bad accident and you didn't want to see it, but in order to move past the accident, you had to go through it. There were a few times where I was like, I'm not going to finish reading this book because I don't want to know what's going to happen to her because whatever happens, it can't be good. But then I started to think that I'm a book reviewer, right? And I'm always talking about wanting to find the next great horror novel and how as a reviewer, can I say that I did not finish this book because I was too scared to find out what was going to happen? Hmm, not me. I'm here for all the juicy parts. <laughs> so moving on to the psychological aspects and finer, deeper meaning. So the narrator in this story, she teaches literary to older students, kind of like at a community college where she teaches night classes. And so one of the things about this book that in the back, they have these questions that you're supposed to ask one another if you're in a book club. And some of those questions relate to the poems in the books that she assigned her students. And you're supposed to look at some of these poems and these books and try to relate it to how the narrator is losing her grasp on reality. And that kind of bothers me. It bothers me because... If there is symbolism and deeper meaning to be found inside of a fiction novel, I believe that it should occur naturally. I have a problem if the author is doing this on purpose, because as I said, I'm not looking for deeper meaning in a fiction novel. So you're jealous? Excuse me? I'm just saying, are you jealous? Because nobody's reading your books looking for deeper meaning. No, I'm not jealous. My books are written to help readers to escape. But if you do find some deeper meaning or symbolism within my story, you know, I'm not going to question it. Like I said, jealous. So as I said, I gave the looker three stars because there were some things about the book that I did like. And from what I understand, this is Laura Sims' debut novel. So to put out a novel and it being your first and have a lot of people questioning whether or not they thought it was good or bad, I think that says a lot for an author. I'm not sure if I'm going to read anything else that she wrote, but hey, you never know. Um, so that concludes today's video. And thank you all again for sticking around. And until next time, you guys take care, stay safe, and try to do something nice for a stranger so we can all do our part to make this world a better place.